morning folks, it's Saturday and we're here at the plot and it's bloody freezing. We're expecting more snow and um, some later this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, etc. So I'm not sure how long we're going to stay down here because it's absolutely cold day. Two days ago, it's not going to stop freezing. Uh, I was here last week but I didn't do, um, I didn't bring the camera essentially, so I didn't do an update, so I will do that uh, shortly. But today's plan try and clear some of this holly from these trees. I think I've got the tool with me. I should be back, really. um, and try and cut some of that down just so we get a bit more light in the summer. So I'm going to crack on with that. Hi guys. That's done as best I can for now. I've only gone up to about here-ish. Um, that I'm going to wait till I move all that and then I can do that. It's looking a lot better already. That a bit more light in, especially during these shorter nights. Right then folks, what have I been working on? Yes. So in front of the shed, what we're going to call the shed from now on, I've removed a load of soil, as you can see. The crazy paving that we had there that we're going to use for a pond, we are actually put it down here, and this is where our compost bins are going to go. So they'll go all the way along here. So we'll have the manure, these two here, those two there, as much as I can fit along here then. Um, so I've just put this paving down, <coughs> excuse me, and what we'll do, put the compost bin on, put it all on top, and eventually all these gaps here will fill with soil and compost, um, and there'll be a pretty flat area, it just means there's something to scrape against um, when we're collecting it really. So that's what I've been doing. Okay folks, the snow hasn't hit us yet, but it has been snowing. It'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Last week, or last weekend should I say, we were going to come down Sunday and I'm just going to give you a plot tour. I kind of underestimated the snow if I'm honest. I um, wasn't expecting that much but we came down and it was covered so nothing went on last Sunday. So I thought I'd give you a little tour now and then um, I'll show you what we're going to be doing this weekend. Okay folks, let's start at the top. No progress with the shed, um, we haven't done anything with that. And just get cracking with the with the ground and stuff to get stuff in. So this area, you saw me digging it out earlier um, and putting the stones on. This is where the new compost area is going to go. Now what I forgot or hadn't anticipated was here all the tree roots. We even got some like by here and that, um, and it's been a pain today. So I'm not sure how much further I'm going to go than where we are at here. I think I'll get two, possibly three of the compost bins on top of there. Um, and as you can see, we've got all this extra soil now, um, which we'll use in the plot. But we'll board all this off, etc., etc., put the compost bins here. And the idea is we can use these slabs to scrape the compost so we're not digging in all the time. But we'll see how that goes. Obviously, all the little gaps will be filled, but that's fine. Still got this part of the old shed to take apart. Uh, leaks. With all the snow, the leaks have been alright. I'm probably going to dig some of these up because they're not looking the best anymore. Oh look, they started going a bit brown and looks like they're dying off a bit as you can see. So I'll probably dig these up um, this weekend. What else we got? Okay, the manure. Manure, we still haven't done anything with it, it's just rotten down. Um, I will have to cover it. But I'm thinking I might move it up towards that end of the plot really but we'll see, we will see down here so 
so we've got the two beds and that one there so that's all fine so what did I do finished building this bed and we've dug we dug the path here to make it more level and this path is a lot wider than say this path so what we're going to do is we're going to put a mini bed in here probably only a foot or two and we'll come all the way along um, and we'll put some flowers in there or some I'm thinking sunflowers, dwarf sunflowers or something like that just to break up the landscape really and we'll do the same this side when we get to it as well but all this mud that we've dug up what we're going to do is I started building the second straw tier of the this strawberry bed as well I'm going to dig a lot of this out because this is good compost um, I'm going to dig a lot of that out and put a lot of that clay soil in there really and then um, put uh, a good uh, inch or two of compost over it that way then strawberries are not that deep rooting really so we should be alright with that or they should be and they can go into the clay if they need to as well so it's not too bad so we built this second layer so we want to crack on with this um, and I've got plans for this one as well nothing happened yet in this big bed but we've got our, our, no, our blueberry plants They've arrived and they've started putting out little um, little beds, so we need to get them in as soon as possible. Even though we've got small snow forecast, I want to get them in. So, hence the ericaceous soil, which we'll go into when we do it. This bed's going to be a blueberry bed, I think. Strawberries then over here. Strawberries. I'm really surprised how quickly these have come on. Even though we've had all that snow, they've put on a lot of growth. Um, already so I'm quite happy with that um, and they're all they all seem to be the majority of them seem to be coming up which is great really that's all good the thing with the raspberries as well they've started putting on a huge amount of growth and they've started budding I don't know if you can see that yeah 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 there you go they've started coming and we've got some breaking through got a bit of grass which we need to get out as well but I'm quite happy with that um, here are the autumn raspberries now the summer ones the red ones there's not much there's a bit there but there's not as much growth from them as yet and there's a bit there as well so we'll have to keep an eye on them uh, what's this the gooseberry nothing really from the gooseberries yet so there's a little bit but like with all this snow I'm not expecting a huge amount as yet but we will need to plant this one on as well this raspberry started coming back he's come back quite well actually this is the one we hadn't pruned last year but he seems to be coming back all right and quite quickly as well which is good moving on moving on moving on rhubarb this rhubarb is looking a bit sorry for itself we've done a fast snow damage or what really um but that's not looking the best, it's quite slow same as that one, it's not looking great but we'll see what happens to them with these two, three going great guns now, I think that is a seed head and if it is I'll get rid of that thing there I'll leave them another couple of days, see what happens um, it could be more rhubarb coming through but we'll see if it's a seed head we need to get rid of it so it doesn't kill the crown but what I am doing around, what I am tempted to do, is uh, force one of the rhubarb this year. Um, I'm not sure which one is yet, but I'll probably force one of them. Um, just to see what it's like and see how that goes really. The raspberry plant in this one, again, coming on nicely. Loads of weeds in, which we need to get in and de-weed, which we need to do. The um, asparagus. Apart from that weed, there's nothing that's yet come up, um, which is fine, so I'll keep an eye on this to see what happens. I might get some more crowns, because I grew these from seeds, I might get some crowns this year, um, and we'll do some more asparagus. And then this is <coughs> falling over, more raspberries and they're loving life, they're doing good, so that's fine. That's about it from the plot. Um, like I said, we weren't here Sunday. Yeah, we 
we weren't here on Sunday because of the snow, but we're hopefully going to be here this weekend now. Although I'm helping my dad tomorrow, so we'll see how much time we get down here. Um, but if not, we're here Sunday anyway. Um, so I'll leave you with that, and I'll catch you soon, guys.